Welcome back, one and all, to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we went through an ancient Mayan ruin teeming with piranha. Got a pretty cool skill. Got a decorative skull from Manu for it. And Jonah, always our patient. <coughs> Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? No, nope, you just popped right in, didn't you? I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. Yes, let's. These notes were written by the founder of the Second Set. They're talking about funds allocated for right the and library. an eclipse. Yeah. Twenty fifth of December, sixteen o three. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey. Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. Interesting. Sounds like Lopez lost it I don't have enough space for that Another one 26th of December 1603 Lopez woke me having already prepared a Spartan breakfast this is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the Chosen One to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. Jonah! This book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. John, son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the beloved disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, sons of thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the three epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He is the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. The serpent in the cup. The heart lies at the serpent in the cup. This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission.
Tardaremos eternidades. ¿Cuántos años? Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, de la Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They have prepared the bell tower and worked the fields, planting crops. Brother de la Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient. We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. Okay. The door closed and a silence settled, so great and so vast I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room. Walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. There's something here. Why was this hidden? And under his wings you may seek refuge. Under his wings. And under his wings you may seek refuge. I can't carry any more. Under his wings? What does that mean? Can't talk to Jonah. Oh, there's something here. This cross. It looks like it's from the 17th century. It fits the 1600s. Whatever. Dating on all his journals. Under his wings, you may seek refuge. His wings. Like the heron's wings or what? I'm still trying to figure everything out. I know this must be really boring for you to watch me run around in circles.
The others are worried that brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far <clears throat> maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. Okay. Seems like his personal study. Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the Dolores path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way. Okay. something here. The sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened and under his wings you may seek refuge. That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. Oh, I know that. That's... Where was that? Okay. There's a whole mural under here. <coughs> the heart of the serpent. <coughs> Cruise, the true cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah. It's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. Oh, gee, I wonder. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from the big case? We'll find Kill him. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. 
Help me lift this. tells me Trinity ain't gonna be far behind me. But I got guns, so... Looks like a long way down. Let's see where this leads. A mirror puzzle of shit. Really? Station two. Jesus pulls the first time. <laughs> There's an inscription here. Adulate dum lucha habitus. Walk while you have the light. That did it. Okay, how? I wouldn't want to be buried in here. Head tossed behind a cross somewhere. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. Sounds like a little this bit looks of like both. A Station three. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. I'll give you a boost. Okay, this is fascinating. Hey, work. Light can only travel so light far. something. Laura! Are you alright? You're lucky it was a little rusted. <sighs> this must be Station 4. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frescoes. That was a little bit funny, okay. Uh, the box must Laura, be is here. that what I think it is? The stations of the cross again. But with mummies. Isn't this sacrilegious? Not necessarily. They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be station six. The light beam to follow the stations of the cross. Looks like a church. These ones are closed like monks. Uh -huh. Wait, uh, other way, other way. I need to move this. <laughs> so Lopez staged the whole crucifixion. Seems sacrilegious. I 
think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. I guess this is a sect for the Panther. I'm glad I wasn't around when look. That was the wrong one. Good old trial and error. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Hey, 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 where do you think you're going? So Lopez staged the whole thing. Jesus dies on the cross. For an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is a sect from the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. Wait. I have to put these in the right order. Jesus dies on the cross. Jesus is taken from the cross. Jesus is laid in a scripture. Other way. That inscription. Do not fear those who are but are unable to do so. So, hope y'all are. I did that in the wrong order again. Trial and error, trial and error, trial and trial and trial and error. Looks like a church. These ones are closed by monks. Wait, no, Jesus is nailed to the cross. For an underground sect. I have to get these in the right order. Okay, no, it's nothing about doing this in the right order. What? Wait a minute. There's some over here too. Looks like the church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh -huh. Shit. Ah, shit. <clears throat> so Lopez staged the whole crucifixion. I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Hey, what, make up your own mind. Oh my god! Ugh, this is oh, now it's over there. Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. Okay, Let's see. Let's do this. Jesus dies on the cross, I think, is next. Well, let's just trial and error this all my all the way. He's carrying the cross. That's not it. Can I seriously not skip this? I feel like I'd be the only one to cheat this and just use something long to push it first. Looks like a church. These ones are closed by monks. Uh-huh. So the whole crucifixion 
think it's supposed to be Jesus dies on the cross next. Because that looks like they were nailing him to the cross. Oh, for God's sake. I think that's it. Jesus dies on the cross. Yes! Been a little while since I've been to stations of the cross. Give me some give me some slack here. must be in there. <clears throat> what? Oh, it's still there. The box of you show. <sighs> Only the hands of the righteous one may seize destiny from mine. I guess it's you then. He led us on this goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity. And the people of Paititi. Where is she? I don't know. I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Stop! 
Let him go! Release him, and I will give you the box. Lara, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. You must be Rourke. <laughs> I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend. But he was obsessed, relentless. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to Paititi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? You can't think it's the same. It is. To a nine-year-old girl, I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. No. The threat must be removed. You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara, how many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? Laura, go! Stop him! I get new doll, I wanted the toy. Guys, what the hell? But I gotta end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Shadow of the Tomb Raider as I get the hell out of Dodge. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph signing off.